Well, Eagles fans, it's finally official. Howie Roseman has taken me behind Lincoln Financial Field and fucked me in the ass. If you don't know what I'm talking about today, Howie Roseman, and obviously this is Oblivious bringing you another fucking video. It's obviously not going to be something normal. It's going to be an Eagles video because I'm an Eagles fan and they fucking blew it. Trading a... F we, all, we traded 2016 first round pick number 8. 2016 third round pick number 77 overall. 2016 fourth round pick number 100 overall. Next year's first round pick. And then the year after that's our second round pick. And all we got for it. All we got was the second pick in this draft, 2016, overall, first round, obviously, and the fourth round pick next year. What the fuck are we going to do with that fucking pick? The fourth round pick, obviously, can end up being something glorious, but I doubt it will. And then the fucking second round pick is going to go to fucking Carson fucking Pussy Wentz, and we just signed Bradford. What the fuck is the point of... Oh my god, we're going to be years behind. We just ruined the franchise. Like, for at least the next six years. Because it'll take... one. You you have to... The fuck, if we don't ever to make it to a fucking Super Bowl and win a Super Bowl, which has been so fuck, We never don't fucking want a Super Bowl. We want a fucking NFC Championship, but that'll never fucking happen again because now they have fucking Super Bowls. And we suck dick in them. And, uh, yeah, so... I don't even know. We're, we're, because... They just set us back because you're going to have to, like, feed through the draft, getting, like, building up all your positions that are shitty with young players who take, like, one or two, two or three years usually to actually prosper, except for running backs because they just don't make it in the league and, like, because just because they get injured so often and whatnot. And then fucking, you, and then you saw, eventually will end up having a good team. That's all the good teams right now have gotten good because they have young players who are fucking good. Like, Sam Bradford, yeah. But we just, I don't know, I actually don't know, I don't even know how, how long we signed him for. I assume like two or three years. But Carson, I, I get Carson Wentz is going to be, he's probably going to be good. Yeah, but he's going to fucking sit on our bench. So we just traded all of our picks where we could have got fucking DeForest Buckner and officially had the best defensive line in the NFL with one of those like later round picks, maybe a th the third or the fourth one. Or And then we also just gave up Ezekiel Elliott basically because we fucking got rid of the eighth pick this round. We could have picked Ezekiel Elliott. I guess 77th or 100th, I actually don't know, we probably were going to get DeForest Buckner, which would have been fucking disgusting, because then we had Fletcher Cox, DeForest Buckner, Benny Logan, Vinny Curry, and Brandon Graham, fucking rushing four guys at once, that's physically impos impossible to stop. We've sacked Romo a lot and injured him in, like, important games, we would actually finally kill Tony Romo, and that would be amazing. We would kill all, we would kill every single quarterback we played, we would be... Kicked out of the NFL for fucking killing 32 people, 31 fucking fucking quarterbacks. That's every other quarterback in the fucking league. And now we're not. We're going to have a fucking bench player. We're going to have a fucking quarterback who I'm not saying won't be good. I'm just saying he's not going to fucking play because we have two quarterbacks. Fucking Roseman just said, like, like literally an hour ago, he was like, Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. We know who our starting quarterback is. It's Sam fucking Bradford. He has fucking Achilles made of fucking nothing. ACL's made of fucking. I mean, eight Achilles. ACL's made of fucking rubber. Not rubber, something glass, I guess you could say. Or fucking molasses or some bullshit like that. And that's it. I don't really know what else to say. We just got actually royally fucked in the bum here, guys. Ugh. I'm just. I'm literally just recording this video, just staring at what we gave them and what we got for it. And it doesn't fucking equal. This year, we had three fucking draft picks we gave up. A third, a fourth, and a first. We already gave up our second. So we won't have... We have our first round pick, and then we have a fifth round pick. What the fuck are we going to do with that? I, I mean, obviously, something can happen, but we need fucking positions. We need one more offensive line to make our offensive line god. We would have Jason Peters' left tackle, who's an... He's an average left tackle now because he's old. We would have fucking Brandon Banks playing the other... One of the guards, Kelsey at center, and then fucking Lane Johnson at right tackle. So all we need is a left guard or a right guard, depending on where Brandon Banks. I'm pretty sure Brandon Banks plays on the left, so then we would need a left guard. We get him in that, that like, fourth round pick. The third round pick we use on fucking DeForest Buckner. He's GOAT. First round pick, we would have used it on Ezekiel Elliott. We finally would have had someone to replace fucking Ryan Matthews, who we all know is going to get injured because he's a fucking injury-prone bitch. And then also, Darren Sproles like, cannot run the more ball more than like 15 times a game. I'm not saying he... Okay, maybe he can, but he is not because he's fucking old. And he's, I'm not saying he's not good. He's just old as shit. So we need that. We need some youth because if Ryan Matthews is going to get hurt, we're going to have to use fucking... I don't even know who we have anymore. Jesus Christ. I don't even know who the fuck our third string running back is right now. I actually wanted to keep DeMarco. Everything is just fucking fucking up right now. 
I wanted to keep Tamarco. Finally, that we're going to be running behind. We're going to be running under center for the first time, and we've decided to trade the player that had the most rushing yards two years ago under center. I, he, the reason Tamarco Murray didn't fucking run good last year because he had no fucking room to get a full head of steam going and fuck up people. He had to give he had the fucking terrible Sam Bradford handoff and would have to like be agile. That's why LeSean McCoy works so well because he's actually agile. Demarco Murray is just a fucking pound, ground and pound motherfucker. I don't really know what else I have to say for this. If you're an Eagles fan, fucking comment. I don't know. Everyone thinks it's a bad idea. I mean, you have might have another thing thinking Carson Wentz is going to be the next fucking Joe Montana. But he's fucking not. He's fucking not. He's probably just going to be an Andy Dalton ginger fucking asshole. Have a great day. Go fuck yourself. Goodbye. <laughs>